Hello guys and welcome back to a new video. Today I'm right here at Honda in Bern at Blunier Auto. I will leave the link in the description uh, if you want to check out the, the Honda cars. I have with me the new Honda CRV Hybrid Sportline version and I will do the test drive for you in this video. As always, I will give you my feedback on how is to drive this new uh, hybrid CRV. And also guys, if you're new on my channel, click the subscribe button if you want to see also the review, the full review with this uh, new CRV. And yeah, as always guys, uh, I want to give you some info before we start the video. Also, this uh, CRV hybrid come with a 2 liter petrol engine, uh, around 212 horsepower. Uh, it, it's a milled hybrid, so it helps. It has an electric motor that helps that petrol engine to get a better consumption, better CO2. And overall, uh, I will explain you this as we go in the video. And yeah, what can I say, guys? Let's drive the car and we will talk there. All right, guys, so let's drive it. Here is the key. It's a nice, super nice, fancy key. Uh, I like it. It's very light and very nice, to be honest. I, I really, really like this key. Uh, all you have to do is just leave it here or have it in your pocket. It doesn't matter. Let me put the seat belt. Also, before we start driving, I want to tell you that the car come with this black edition leather seats. They are super, super nice. I like, I like the way they look, this design here. They have side support, nice design, very comfortable. Uh, I drive the car before and it feels really good. Also, the steering wheel has good quality leather, nice grip, pretty nice. It's, it's bigger and you have a good visibility over the uh, head-up display right there. Uh, adjustment on the seats, you have manual adjustable seats here. Uh, that's something that I, I should tell you from the beginning. The car come, of course, with heated seats um, and all kind of technology that I will explain you as we go. But first of all, this is the start engine button. Press the brake, press the start engine button. And now the car is start. Also, it comes with this new digital screen right there in the middle that looks really good uh, of course you can change different things there to see or uh, to adjust the adaptive cruise control and stuff like that but overall it's a simple one nothing super fancy there just just uh, it's much simple than than the other uh, cars and what I want to tell you guys and what I like first time when I go inside this car I like very much this center console here it's amazing you have this armrest here you have the center console that you can adjust it the way you want it down here but all about those info you will find out in my other video full review if you want to see the full review interior exterior with this crv check it out on my channel you will be impressed uh, at least on the quality on the seats and the space in the back it's it's incredible something that i like very much and i also seen on the honda e electric for example it's right there if you want to see the review uh, and the test drive i have it already on my channel uh it's this center console and the shift by wire transmission right here in the middle so the car come with this shift by wire transmission you have the park button there are buttons you know the same as the hyundai use for example these days all you have to do is just press the brake the reverse button it's just like that it's super nice and fancy it comes with a reverse camera, pretty good quality, uh, not super fancy, but you have everything you need right there. You have a good visibility. Then you have the parking button, then you have the neutral and drive button right here. So I like that very much. Also, the car come with free driving modes, kind of sport mode, eco mode and EV mode. If you press the EV mode, uh, you can see the EV on there on the screen. The car will try to drive only in uh, kind of in electric mode or it will try to drive electrically as much as it can because it's a mild hybrid it has a small battery probably one kilowatt hour or something like that very small so it will try to drive as economical as possible and it will try to give you the best power but we will drive in echo you can see econ right there on the screen and let's drive it guys put it in drive press the brake 
Uh, of course, the car hum with electronic handbrake or auto hold. That's something that I like very much. And all you have to do is just press the acceleration. And right now, the car start in electric mode. It is super quiet. The way it should be. I love it. Anyway, the car has amazing insulation, guys. I tell you, I drive the car and Honda makes such a good cars in terms of insulation, sound uh, insulation. You cannot hear so many things from the exterior. Now we accelerate and it's still in electric mode. Wow, impressive. We are still driving in electric mode right now. Wow, I wonder how much you can drive only in electric mode because it has a small battery i mean it's quite impressive also the multimedia system it's okay i wish it was a little bit different and nicer and more modern but it's still okay you have the navigation the car can read the traffic speed limit you can see it right here uh it has a camera up here and the layout everything it's it's well you have great visibility on the windows big mirrors actually huge mirrors to be honest also in this mirror up here you have a great visibility in the back there um, the steering wheel it's perfectly positioned you can adjust the seats in every position you want you have a good good position right here at driving i'm still in electric mode right now still quiet nice i wonder how much i can drive yeah and in the curve it stays so good so good the suspension and the direction it's good now it's kicking in the petrol engine i hear it right now the car will try to to, to drive as economical as possible when you take the foot off of the acceleration you can see a bar right there a blue bar power and charge and when you take the foot right now it's on the charging mode you can see with green and um, it's, it's quite good because this battery and the electric motor will help the car uh, consume less uh, fuel and also have better co2 emission so um, it's a great system I really these days this is the future hybrid plug-in hybrid electric cars are totally the future we should go like that um, yeah other than that what can I say guys a nice tall driving position you have good visibility around the windows insulation is quite good so you cannot hear so much noise from outside also the car come with uh, lane assist for example can see right now it's tried to, to keep between the lanes uh, it's not so good uh, as Tesla as good as Tesla but it's still okay and it's a great safety feature to have it um, when you drive on the highway when you don't pay attention or when something happened with you it's, it's a great great feature let me go outside here I like very much the comfort here the seats are super comfy and also uh, the car this I have installed right now 18 inch rims on it winter tires and maybe that way the comfort it's super good you don't even feel those bumps it stay very good on the road right now you can see the engine it's stop and you can hear it's silent I think when you try to brake when you go downhill the engine it's stop and then it works only with electric motors it's regenerate the battery and the last uh, when you drive slowly i think from 30 km under 30 km per hour you can see it will drive only in electric mode so right now we have around 25 kilometers 30 36 38 40 and it's still in electric mode right now we take the foot and it's still driving in electric mode that that's quite good system this is the way the, the mild hybrid system uh, work uh, more on or less on all all the cars and it's, it's not bad at all it is indeed really really good system they did a great job with it to be honest uh, the consumption until now in the last 800 
we have around 7.6 liter consumption and I'm 100% sure I can get a better consumption than that much better consumption than that and it's a huge SUV actually it's huge you have so much space in it um, and it's not bad the consumption you can get some great consumption with this uh, hybrid system if you know how to drive if you anticipate the traffic you can see right now we are only in electric mode and now the engine is kicking in now it's no more it's, it's quite impressive really good system to be honest I like very much the brakes are good regenerate pretty soft the pedals soft everything here those buttons are in the perfect placement you can press it immediately very simple sport mode eco mode um, everything it's it's nice placement we start in now it's kicking also the, the petrol engine now regenerate super nice super nice uh, let me go on the right side also it comes with blind spot technology nice it's silent you can see so many cars outside and still very good sound insulation here at high speed you will hear a little bit of wind you know outside but it's normal all the cars uh, have the same but now in the city, it's super silent in the interior. It's easy to drive. The steering wheel, it's very soft and nice and, and assisted. You have soft material everywhere, on, even on the cockpit here, soft material. You have huge space here, plenty of storage space here. You can remove this or, or adjust the way you want it. You have a USB port, 12 volt ports here. Um, you have all you need right here in the car. Also, you can drive in sport mode, for example. If you go in sport mode, now the car will try to give you the best performance. Um, and when you accelerate, you will have around. Nice, nice. You know, Honda have amazing experience with sporty cars and this engine sounds just fabulous to be honest it sounds so good uh, when you press the acceleration it is it's is really impressive um, love that sound super super nice really love the car really love what they did with the car pretty punchy pretty pretty punchy this engine it's it's gorgeous i love it i love the way it sound i love the way it's respond uh, i love the gearbox the way it's changed the gears it's, it's super fast super responsive it's it's just the way it should be smooth and nice good on the road good stability we will try here on the roundabout to test the, the now it's in, in, in electric mode silent even here on the roundabout it stay really good on the road out very nice very nice direction very nice steering control it's it's fabulous fabulous great job what they did with the car I, I really like the way it feels to drive 
in this hybrid system it's just impressive all right guys I'm really impressed on how good you can control this car and also this transmission it's really good um, you can hear a little bit the engine as well but the way is changing the gears this is what impressed me the most if we are in eco mode right now you can hear how smooth is changing the gears it's just impressively smooth great comfort great visibility now let's go in sport mode guys I want to show you also an acceleration because I think you already understand how the the hybrid system work and uh, I want to show you how good is the transmission in sport mode brakes are also very good you don't even feel it's a big SUV and heavy it's it's feel uh, quite agile when you brake I mean it doesn't feel that heaviness that come to you uh, it breaks really really good so that's something that that I, I really like it so for example right now you can see immediately stop that's something that I like also the car come with auto hold brake hold uh, that that system it's you can take the foot out of the acceleration so the car will hold uh, on the brake right now so that's a great great system uh, you don't have to hold all the time the foot on the brake it will hold for you automatic and then when you press acceleration right now it's just directly go so it's a good system uh, it holds really good it works really fast immediately when you put the foot pew, it's working it just doesn't feel like um, the handbrake it's on great system now it's regenerate back in the battery it's quiet and we are in sport mode great over the, the, the turning radius it's really good the car come also with uh, lane assist and, and uh, you can set it up the cruise control adaptive cruise control emergency brake blind spot all that safety features uh, the car come with anyway guys I want to show you here an acceleration because we can do that let me pass this one here and you can hear right now the engine impressive 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 and if I'm not wrong It comes with that transmission it doesn't have any gears it's just one gear CVT I think it is because you can hear it the way it accelerate I think it used the same transmission as Toyota use anyway it's gorgeous gorgeous the way it works it's just perfect Let's go in eco mode again. Now you can see the, the car changing. The acceleration, acceleration is much more smoother right now.
accelerate right here we regenerate some energy back in the battery over the bumps it's doing a great job So here if you want to turn the car, it's a huge car indeed, but still it's easy to park. For example, let's, let's try to park here. You can see the lanes there, super easy in the back. You have parking sensors, you have all the technology. You can also change those views if you want to see it like that or like that from up and down. However you want to you wanna see it, you can, you can change it there. You can see also on the screen there, the parking sensors. Then actually press the brake electronic handbrake everything you need guys i hope you really enjoy it i'm super impressed with the car to be honest i like it very much i like the way they switch between the electric mode and the petrol mode i think they did a great job i mean every time you anticipate the traffic you go slow down you take the foot off the acceleration slowly and the car it's under 30 kilometer it will you will turn off the 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 petrol engine and it will go smoothly in electric way and it will save much more energy and much more power i think you can get some amazing economy from this um Honda CRV and it's it's a huge SUV guys it, I'm really impressed I like the way even the way it's changing the gear shifter you doesn't feel like it's a it's a internal combustion engine you feel like it's an electric car Honda have amazing experience in terms of performance in terms of uh, engine uh, build and the transmission with the engine with this hybrid system wow it's it's good it's good it's really good you have to test it and then you will understand what i mean they really did indeed a good job now uh the steering it's super good super assisted easy to drive good visibility suspension are amazing at least with this winter tires 18 inch they are very good very good the seats i don't even need to tell you those are one of the best seats uh, from from Honda and not only I think they did a great job great design black edition I totally recommend you these seats also in the back look great if you want to see the full review and more info about that uh, check out the video I have it already on my channel if it's not already there just click the subscribe button to see the notification when the video with the full review uh, will be on the channel but overall guys I tell you um, it's it's a good car it's a good car you have to test it if you are on the market for an suv um you have to test this one and the price is really good if i see good the price it's around forty-eight thousand francs i will add on the screen also um of course the price in dollars so you can make an idea uh, about the price but it's very good it's around fifty thousand dollars not bad for a huge suv like that with what it offers uh, you have all the newest technology, lane assist, reading the traffic speed limit, blind spot technology, uh, parking sensors, cameras, uh, shift by wire transmission. You have these different driving modes, a USB ports, everything. I mean, it's, it's great. Guys, I hope you really enjoy this video. Uh, please don't forget to like, share. Uh, also, if you want to see the full review, check it out on my channel. Thank you very much to all of you that watching my video. If you like the music, you have the link in the description. Uh, I hope you enjoy the video. Stay safe, guys. And I guess I see you soon in the next one. By the way, if you have comments, ask me anything. I will answer to all of you. So see you soon, guys. Stay safe.